let me show you how to get cards from Dextrous into Tabletop Simulator. So I have a project here. It's got two sets of cards using a different layout. I've colored differently, blue and orange. And if I wanted to export just one of these into Tabletop Simulator, I could hit here. This is the component settings and go to export from just this component. Or I could use the global export up here and that will um, get both the components, the orange and the blue set of cards that I have here. Now I need to hit export and create tabletop simulator file. And what Dextrous is doing in the background here is it's creating what's called a JSON file. Um, and it's creating a big image, um, a sprite block of PNGs, um, which tabletop simulator can then use. It's actually getting uploaded to our server there. So what I need to do next is navigate to the folder, my TTS folder, um, which houses all my projects. So you'll find that at Documents, My Games, Tabletop Simulator, Saves, Saved Objects. So that's a bit of a mouthful. And it can get messy in here, so I would actually recommend just creating a new folder um, for your project. So I'll just call this Test Project for now. And then what I want to do is grab the JSON that I just downloaded, grab that special file, and put it in that folder. So I'm gonna click up here and I can actually just drag it straight from there into test project. There it is. We're all good to go now. So now I can go to Tabletop Simulator, click create, or just create a game here, create a new game. Now that I'm in Tabletop Simulator, I can click objects, saved objects, and I'm gonna go straight to my folder that I just made, test project, and here it is and it's actually gonna bring in both decks of cards and it'll whack a default back on them um, just to make that easier. But now you can see if I flip this over and get my cards, they've come in here like this straight into TTS. Now you'll notice that the glare here is really next level. So my cards are all here, but TTS has this new glare setting on. So if you go to, I think it's, no, it's not games, it is options, lighting, if you turn down um, this ambient, if you just change that to gradient, um, you can fiddle with the lighting here as well, some of these intensity settings, but it makes it suddenly much more like the cards that I want to see in here. So my cards are all in here into TTS and I've got my blue ones over here. So they're all good to go. One really cool thing that um, Dextrous can do is it can actually um, help you even with a saved game. So let's say I've got a blue player over here and I'm gonna set up the start of my game. I'm gonna shuffle this deck, let's say, and maybe they start with three cards. So I'm gonna lay it out in a particular way. I'm gonna group these ones, flip these ones, and say if I wanted three cards for each player, let's just say for this fictional game that I'm making here. Obviously, you might have hundreds of other things set up on the table as well, but this is just an example to show you um, the power of this in terms of updating it in place. Let's say I wanted to change the wizard here. I have a play test and I decide, actually, the wizard is too good. He's, he's too strong. I need to change him. I need to bump up his cost from three to four. So I'm going to come, come back to Dextrous here. I'll go back to my deck. I'll click on the wizard. I'll bump up his mana cost to four. Okay. So that's now changed in Dextrous. But what we have to do on the TTS end is set it up to be able to receive this update. I've got to go to menu, configuration, mod caching. Now mod caching may be on by you, for you by default. If mod caching is on, you actually need to turn it off if you want to receive updates. And what that what that's telling TTS is it's saying, don't remember the image block for this deck. Instead, get a new one, refresh it every time I come back into the game. So mod caching is off, so that's perfect. Now I can just hit games and I'm just going to save this game here. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to call it Gills Test TTS Update. So I'm going to save that. And where is that? There it is right there. Okay, cool. So that's all good to go. Now I can, over in Dextrous, I'm just going to export again. I don't have to export everything because I've only updated this one card in the, in the orange deck. So I'm actually going to just export this one. 
Now I'm going to hit export. I'm going to create a tabletop simulator file. So in the background, what Dextrous is doing here is it's grabbing a big image. It's taking like a snapshot of this orange one and it's uploading it to the server in the same place that it did last time for the orange one. So this, this updated one with the Wizards 4 has now gone over the top of the previous one. Now, interestingly, I don't need to download this JSON file. I can if I want and I have a fresh copy, but for my intents and purposes, all I want to do is actually get that image block um, uploaded. Now, if I go to the menu, if I go to main menu, you do actually have to go to main menu here. This is what forces TTS to re-grab the link. So if I create a single player game, this time I want to go to my test TTS update. I'm going to load this in. Now what it should do is load in. Aha, there we go. So now I've got my update. And you can imagine how much time this can save because let's say I update 50 cards and they're all over the table or maybe I'm halfway through a game or a campaign or something like that to be able to update like that, save the game and make some changes to your deck and update over here is tremendously powerful. One little note, this only works if the number of cards stays the same, if that makes sense. Because if you can imagine there's a block of images like this, if you suddenly add more cards into it, it will try and fit it in. And when it comes into TTS here, it'll all be stretched and you'll have half images. So if you ever see half images here, it's because you've updated, um, you've added in new cards here. And you will, in that case, need to do a slightly bigger update and import the fresh JSON object. Yeah, but hopefully you can see in this workflow, it's really easy to prototype in TTS and even update saved games or campaigns or things in progress in a really streamlined way. Thanks for watching.